we go. The matriculation indoctrination is working. According to a new NBC News poll, 62% of the college youngs who identify as donkeys say they would not room with a Trump supporter in college. How tolerant. Only 28% of Republicans would refuse dorm shelter with the Biden lover, probably because they feel bad for anyone so misguided that they would cast a sad vote for a doddering oatmeal-filled meat sack. This is the silly and dumb state of affairs. Instead of focusing on the commonalities undulating party people should share in college, they're bifurcating themselves and sacrificing potential friendships over partisan politics. Blue dorms and red dorms, how ordinary. It's what your grandparents do on Facebook. People in college should conceivably be challenging themselves and their flimsy beliefs. Oh, who the hell am I kidding? College is now an intolerant wasteland of empty group thinkers on a lazy quest for confirmation bias. Anyone who smacks of wrong thought must be othered and removed. Last year, an Axios Generation Lab poll found something similar in the dating realm in college. 71% of the romantically inclined would refuse to date a Trump voter. What is wrong with these people? Have they never experienced the simple pleasure of grudge humping a political foe? I am sad for them, and I weep for this broken nation. Maybe the problem is how they're taught politics in the first place. Last year's Chally Institute poll found 32% of respondents favor socialism. Yay! Only 24% have a rosy view of capitalism. 45% of them defined capitalism as, quote, an economic system in which corporations utilize grants, special tax breaks, political connections, and special rules that favor them over competitors to earn profits. That is crony capitalism, you dull turds. The majority saw socialism as a mostly private utopian redistribution system, which is bollocks on a stick. Maybe if these cream puffs spent some actual time with victims of socialism and investigated stories of small business owners who sacrificed and s all of their capital uh, in order to realize near impossible dreams, the truth about the miracles of capitalism would be magically redistributed to their myopic brains. But that would require pulling propagandized heads out of Marxist fart parts. And that may require too much optimism for this troubled time. And that's the memo. Ah, here we are with a quick transition, you would figure opposites attract. Instead, we'll probably see administrators kicking kids out for violating safe spaces. Are today's college kids so polarized they can't have a conversation with people who think slightly differently than they do? All right, the party panel is back. Sean Duffy, Marie Harf, and Spike Cohen. Uh, Sean, you have college-age children. What do you make of this poll that they shun Trump supporters? First, that was a brilliant monologue, uh, Kennedy. Yeah, and you were spot on. So the bottom line is they're, the left is intolerant. They've been taught that Trump voters are Republicans. They're racist. They're sexist. They're misogynist. And therefore, I can't associate with them. I mean, how boring is that? I thought when you go to college, you're supposed to explore different ideas, be challenged, learn how to defend yourself or change your opinion. The problem is these ideas are so flimsy, so weak, and have never worked that they can't room with a, a, a Trump supporter because they can't defend their ideas. And not only that, you mentioned this, they, the, in the dating world, you won't date a Trump supporter? Really? A good-looking, hot, smart Trump supporter you won't date is absolutely <laughs> idiotic. So the bottom line, though, is what kind of future does this build for America when this is being taught in our schools? Um, when you go to the workforce, you have to deal with people who are nice, who are mean, who are short, who are tall, who are Republican, who are Democrat. You have to navigate that in the workplace. And we're not teaching our kids to be tolerant and, and to navigate their futures because they're so rigid in their political ideology. And it's a shame that our colleges are doing this to our kids uh, because they have their heads up, the Marxist, whatever you said it was, was a, spot on. Thank you very much. I yes. appreciate that. Uh, now, Marie, you are from the great state of Ohio. And uh, as goes Ohio, <laughs> so goes the country. Surely, when you were at The Ohio State University, you would have commingled with Republicans, even though you are leaning left. Well, uh, I didn't actually go to Ohio State, which is a fun fact about well, you me. Love I went the to Buckeyes. Indiana, but I'm still a Buckeye. I, I thought you did because you love the Buckeyes I know, so I know. much. I just, I know, I just grew up there. I just grew up there. But look, um, as someone who is a Democrat and is often on television with people who are not, 
Uh, I am routinely called horrific things on social media. I've been called un-American. I've been told that Democrats hate God. So if we want to talk about tolerance here, the right wing today, and many of President Trump's supporters, not all, but many, are not particularly tolerant of other opinions either. So I agree completely that college should be a place where you meet people from different backgrounds and you test your ideas and you figure out who you are. But if we're talking about intolerance here, just from my experience, the things I have been called uh, as someone uh, who is a Democrat, who often is on television with people or you know talking in other places with people who aren't, the things I'm called online from people who claim to be Trump supporters, yeah. Kennedy, that, I wouldn't want to room with those people either. That's super yeah. nasty and intolerant. Guess so what, I agree right? in principle, Guess but what? you're not even on Twitter, kind number of one. Broken, number you know? two, try being yes, a libertarian. A try being, yes, try being a libertarian, because as a libertarian, I get it from <laughs> Trump supporters. Uh, some guy nope. said I had a, the mind of a stripper and called me a dirty old whore today, which I took as a compliment, <laughs> Dad. <laughs> And, you know, I, I have lefties who tell me that I'm a fascist simply because I work at Fox. So, you know what? I just want to party with libertarians at this point, Spike. Yeah, no, that's a good strategy moving forward. We should all do that. I, too, have also been called a, a dirty old whore, and I, I'm frankly sick of it. I, I think a big part of, uh, of what we've been talking about here is the effect of social media. Uh, part of that poll, uh, they asked uh, the students where they get the majority of their news, and it's something like 70 percent said browsing social media. Now, if you think the average student uh, has never, it, it's true, they may have been alive before social media, but they probably don't remember it. And so they've always lived in a reality where the majority of their interactions, if they don't like them, they can just block that person and they sort of disappear from their life. And I think that's a big part of what drives count, uh, cancel culture. Mm -hmm. I think that's a big part of what drove these poll results is people who have just decided, uh, have learned that if they don't like someone's opinion or don't like what they say or think, they can just say, you're a bad person and then block them from their life and never have anything to do with them. And that certainly doesn't build character. It doesn't build maturity. No. But I think that that's what we're looking at. Another interesting part of that uh, result, uh, poll results, is that the most, the thing that those Democrat-leaning uh, students were most intolerant of was Joe Biden. Seventy-three percent of them said that they did <laughs> not want to vote uh, for Joe Biden. Yeah. They did not want him to run again. So it seems like they're just across the board uh, intolerant of everything. There but are. yes, as a libertarian, uh, if you aren't being called a Nazi and a communist uh, on the same day. Uh, then you haven't done it right. No, you're doing something wrong. Absolutely right. A Nazi, communist, dirty old whore, Spy Cohen for the win.